Lyoto, first fight back in Los Angeles in a couple years. What's the feeling like to come back here? So, I've been living here in LA for seven years. So to fight here is an amazing yeah. thing to have to remind my, my career and to fight again here. That time when I fought here, I just was moving to LA in 2012 against Ryan Bader. And now, I'm, the feeling is the best, man. So I feel so happy to, to have this fight. And, Leota, what was uh, attractive to you about this fight? Because you were kind of in the driver's seat. You could have gone to the light heavyweight, maybe fight for that title, possibly even fight for the middleweight title. Why was Musasi the guy that you wanted? To be honest, so I was pretty open to fight in any class, 205 or 185. But Bellator offered me to fight against Musasi right after my fight, right after his fight against uh, Lovato. Lovato. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity. And in order to be very active, so I, I believe that I cannot refuse fights because if I didn't accept this fight, I only maybe would have a chance to fight for the belt against Lovato in November or December, or fight with uh, against Ryan Bader maybe at the NWO next year. So I like to, to have more than one or two fights, at least two or three fights a year. That's my plan. If, if you win, um, you want a title fight in either division, right? I, I yes. imagine, yeah. When I win this fight on Saturday, so I'm gonna have my, my title shot. Definitely. Any preference as to what division? So, in terms of cutting weight, so it's very hard to cut to weight fight. It's not easy because I have to do a very good diet and also there is a process that you have to get through, sure. to go through. So that's pretty much difficult. But I'll be pretty open. Whichever comes first, I'll be ready. Belcher's well, talking about possibly doing a show in Japan in uh, December. You obviously are, uh, are half Japanese. Would you be interested in fighting there? Of course. Very interested in fighting in Japan because Japan is. Uh, I used to live in Japan for a year. I used to work for Inoki, Antonio Inoki. And if I have a chance to come back and fight in Japan, that's going to be an amazing opportunity. Do you still keep in touch with Inoki? Do you, ever, you talk to him still? Oh, yeah, oh, with his brother. Because I'm, okay. I get along with his brother more than Inoki. Inoki's a busy guy. So yeah. To, to get a hold of him. But right. Probably in October, I may go to Japan and then for vacation and then I'll meet Inoki. Has Anoki ever uh, slapped you or chopped you? Because you know that's one of his things that he does. Yeah, he, he did. Me. Yes. He, he did on me uh, in my second fight, in my first fight in Japan. So he did three slaps. Three slaps. No, no not even one. Three. <laughs> After <laughs> or before? There is a legend that they say that when he knocks slaps you in the face, you have a success in your life. I said, no, I can keep slapping you. <laughs> <laughs> Leota, what do you remember most about the first fight with Musasi in terms of what he was able to bring? So, uh, it was in 2014, it was in Brazil. Uh, I knew pretty much Musasi because back then I watched a lot of his fights in Japan, in UFC as well. So I knew that what he probably could bring for that fight. And now it's another opportunity, it's another moment, another time. So, but we are the same fighters, so we cannot change everything. Of course, we evolved in some, some aspects of the fights, maybe on the ground, maybe on stand up. It doesn't matter a lot, but you can. You, usually, you tend to to maintain your your excellence or your essence. Coming off of a loss for him, do you think he's still just as dangerous? Do you think, you know, he's still just as confident going into this fight with you? We never know. We never know how everyone uh, deal with that situation. I, I don't know Musasi disarms, but I believe that every defeat can, can make you stronger or can make you a little bit worried about the next fight. He said in the media scrum earlier that he wasn't disciplined in his diet heading into this fight. Do you feel like he's not taking you he seriously? Started, he, uh, he said that he wasn't really uh, dieting for this camp, for his weight cut. He says it's going to be a tough weight cut. Uh, do you feel like he's overlooking you a little bit? Uh, 
so to be honest, so I try to to put my focus on, on my on my stuff. I don't try yeah. to think about my opponent. The only day that I wanna see his his stuff is the day of the fight, or the, the day that I have to I have to face face my face on my. Is there any animosity between you two, just with some of the comments he made after the first fight and saying that you were greasy? No, 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 for me. Okay. I'm very good professional fighter. I don't take anything yeah. personal. So if he if he takes, it's not my problem. So I prefer to be away from this stuff because I can control more the the situation of the fight. I can control more the the, the fight itself. Where do you think he's improved since the first fight in 2014? I just I have seen his his fight lately, and uh, he pretty much improved a lot in his ground game. Even though he had a tough fight against Bovado, uh, but he improved a little bit his ground game. But as I said before, you can never change it. You you can keep some something from 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 the past. There was talk about, is he the best middleweight in the world because of his win streak before he lost to Lovato? Obviously, there's the debate, Robert Whitaker or Adesanya. For you, do you think that he was the best middleweight of the last couple Musashi? years? Yeah, Musasi. Yes, one of the best, for sure, definitely. Because Musasi, when he was in the UFC, he was in the top position all the time. And he faced very, uh, very legend fighters throughout his career. So he deserved this title, for sure. Considered one of the best middleweights in the world. We have the uh, middleweight title fight, uh, the unification fight happening next week in the UFC between Robert Whitaker and Israel Adesanya. Who, who do you see winning that fight, just as a fellow middleweight? It's very, it's very hard to say something because they have a different style. But I, I believe that Adesanya has more tools to to beat Whitaker. I cannot say that's going to be an easy fight, but. Probably this has one Gegard was here and he was again critical about the fight and the outcome and also the drug testing and he said you were greasing. Do you have any thoughts on his criticisms of you? No, no whatsoever. So I just I don't I don't wanna mention anything about that. So I just wanna keep my folks as I said before and see him the day of the fight. Doesn't motivate you anymore. Doesn't change how you view him as an opponent. No, because I don't like to put any emotion uh, in my training camp, any emotion in my mind. I, I gotta be away from that stuff. Because when you put some different stuff like that, some different uh, emotional, when you in emotional state, really hype sometimes. It can bothers you during the fights, before the fights. And we all know that our mind is everything. If you have your your mind very calm, very uh, uh, ready for, for your next step. Everything tends to be good. Is this something your your father taught you? Like, where did you where did you come up? Where did you start learning to fight without emotion? Like, was this always there at your own uh, career? Since when I was a child, my father always teach me. He always uh, was teaching me about the philosophy. And that's the most important thing. To be honest, in martial arts, no. This is stuff that you can bring to your real life to keep your emotional very calm, to, to know how to control everything. I think that's one of the tricky parts of our life. Leoto, it's almost been five years since your last fight with Masasi. Do you plan on utilizing the same tactics? Uh, all right. I'm going to bring something new to the table. I'm going to bring something new. But not mentioned here because it's uh, part of my strategy, of course. Uh, you guys are going to see him Saturday. Do you feel like you can handle his punching power? And if he decides to take you to the ground, do you feel like you have enough defense to, to win the fight? Of course, of course. But <clears throat> my main goal is to not, to not receive any, any technique from the sides, any punts and kicks. That's the, the main goal all the time, right? But I'll be ready. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.